think, uh, well, I, I submitted a piece uh, to the newspapers where I called it uh, a bold, even a radical budget, and that may not be obvious. Um, so if I can, let me just explain why I think it was a bold and radical budget. But before I do that, let me just say that um, the, uh, it's useful to think of the budget in three time horizons, the n now and the next six months, because the next union budget is only six months away, and there are many, uh, as it were, uh, reviews and studies that have been promised in, in six months. They <coughs> excuse me, give an indication of the areas where future reforms will take place. Then there is the life of this parliament, five years, and uh, all of this is uh, moving towards Viksit Bharat, and our job at Niti Aayog is to think f long term for for about Viksit Bharat. So I'm going to talk about this budget, uh, both about the remainder of this fiscal year and the remainder of the life of this parliament because there are signals in the budget about what the issues are going to be. But why do I call it radical? Because it is focused on, I think, three things. First, to really attack the issue of uh, better jobs, I would say better livelihoods rather than jobs. Uh, and this is an issue that has been, um, that, that's been uh, uh, unsolved for, I would say, several decades now. And its approach to it is radical. Second, it's radical because of uh, the redefinition of the relationship with the private sector. And I'll give you a couple of examples uh, of that. Um, and third, uh, it is uh, not radical, but it is very committed to uh, inclusive growth uh, as well. It is sober in continuing the fiscal consolidation roadmap, and that is also important for the medium term. So uh, what is it doing differently to address the issue of high-quality employment? That is the main initiative of this, and what it is doing most importantly, is to give new incentives and a kickstart to first-time entrants, youth, uh, coming into the job market. Now, uh, people say India has a problem of unemployment, shortage of jobs. That's not entirely correct. I mean, our survey suggests that jobs are being created, but they fall short of the expectations of the people who may have done their graduation and then end up as a security guard. And so um, uh, to uh, equip them for the opportunities that exist or could exist uh, takes proactive action because at the same time you may have read in the newspapers uh, a few days or weeks ago that Larson and Tubro were saying they had 45,000 engineering positions which they could not fill. So we have, as it were, the raw material and we have the need, but bringing the two together is what this budget is trying to do. Um, and I can go into the details, but I would say uh, kick-starting that process uh, so that people are equipped to do better jobs and get better livelihoods uh, 
and not just in corporate employment, startups also, on, on the farm as well. All of this is a new approach to thinking about India's employment possibilities in at the time of its Amrit Kaal, its demographic dividend.